and we've all wanted to fit in at least once in our lives. And the musical dear Evan Hansen tells the story of a young man who believes he finally has the chance to do just that. The New York Times calls it a breathtaking knockout of a musical, and I think they're right. Anthony Norman checked in with us ahead of the show stop here in Peoria. It's essentially a coming of age story about um, this lonely teenager named Evan who just can't seem to fit in socially, mentally, emotionally with those around him, including uh, even his family. And he winds up uh, telling a lie that he never meant to tell and a letter gets seen that was never meant to get seen. And he winds up living a life that he never dreamed of. And without spoiling anything, he... Um, you know, everything eventually becomes bigger than him. He's a complex person. We were all complex, we're all so complex, but especially at 17 years old, you know, going through high school, there's so much going on that we're both aware of and we're not aware of. We're trying to, trying to please people, but also trying to find ourselves and find out who we really are. But um, in trying to please people and trying to, you know, make those around us happy, we wind up making ourselves unhappy and thus not getting closer to finding out who we are. But, um, you know, that's that's part of being a teenager. That's part of being a person. And so that's that's really what Evan is going through in this, in this show. We've all gone through a period of our, in our lives where we have felt like we are on the outside of something, looking in, and we're you know, especially in the age of social media today, we see constantly what we're not a part of and what we're missing out on. I mean, that's one aspect of my character that I relate to, but also I, I just relate to the, the feeling of, you know, what I was saying before, of pleasing others to make them happy. And in spite of that, not getting closer to who I am and not getting to know who I am and what makes me happy, I think my favorite part of, play, of getting to play Evan is the fact that I get to do it every day. The fact that I get to find new things every night because the role is so complex and the role is so demanding. And um, there's, you know, I don't leave the stage for more than three and a half minutes for the whole show. And so every single night I get to find new things and uh, I get to find new things in the scenes and the songs. Even though the show's not running on Broadway anymore and the tour is coming to an end, that doesn't mean that the show has the, sh the show's impact has lessened or will not continue uh, to reach audiences after the show is like no longer in New York or across the country. It's it's a show that that is that is relevant more so than ever. I want someone, at least one person in the audience, to leave that theater thinking, I had no idea that someone else could feel like that. To, to, to make someone who might feel alone or isolated um, or like no one understands them to, to maybe see themselves on stage, not just in Evan, but in any, any character on stage. That is my hope. One person. The tour of Dear Evan Hansen will be at the Peoria Civic Center Theater May 30th through June 4th, and it's a show you won't want to miss. Tickets start at $52, and you can buy them online or at the Toyota box office.